Hello everyone. Today we're going to work on all of this. These are tags that I've collected over the years from recycling bins that we're going to make as embellishments or ephemera that we could use in our journals. I'm going to use some golden gesso. Any gesso will work. I have all my tags separated. I took off all the strings. I didn't fuss too much with them. If I had to cut them off, I cut them off. I'm not worried about that. And I saved all these safety pins. So these are kind of cool to use in journals sometimes too. I don't throw any of that away. I have this chip brush, they call these. Let's start with this one here. Although I loved the Go Nude. I wonder if I have another one. I do. So I just want a layer of gesso. This is my assortment of tags and I've now gessoed both sides of each tag. The brush I use left some deep brush grooves. I kind of like this so I leave this. I don't worry about it. If you don't like it, I use an emery board or even some sandpaper and you could sand them down if you if it really bothered you. I've pulled out quite a number of scraps just to kind of look at what my possibilities are. I like this matte medium specifically because it's matte. It's not gloss. It's not going to cause a sheen to my paper. I have this old gift card I'm gonna to use to spread the matte medium out. The more layers, the better. It's gonna look better. It's gonna, you're gonna like it better. It's gonna give it depth. Anything we start with has a possibility that it's gonna go away. And I'm gonna keep layering this up until I feel like it's ready for something different. this round one and this one is a mess. I like the imperfections. The imperfections tell our stories and that's what I really love. We're going to let these dry and we'll be back. These are all dry now and we're just going to wing it and play and see what happens. I've got some paints here so I pulled out some Liquitex paints gray but it could be anything you've got. Then I pulled out Amsterdam color which is violet. So I have stencils. I'm going to try this flower one here. This is a makeup sponge and honestly just keep it dry. So if you dip it in your paint and if there's a lot of paint on it, you just have to wipe it off because if you don't, it will smudge underneath. So that's probably good there. I might take one of these littler ones and put one down here just for a little variation. I was experimenting on this one. I wasn't really sure I liked how this came out. I'm going to lighten it up just a little bit with a little bit of white paint, probably down here, and a little brayer action just to get a little more color and scraping in there. And then I am going to start gluing. These are brayer roll-offs. I might want some more color up here. I like the way this flower came out, even though it's not very colorful. So now here, I would start thinking about doing things like that. I see another one here I could do. I'm gonna let that dry. We're gonna try to wrap these up a little bit here. Let's start with things like, I have a weight Posca pen here. It's a, this is acrylic paint. And I just wanted to do a little outlining of some of my flowers here. And the other thing I do, as I've done here, is I've taken some, this is a black, this is my black Stabilo All Pencil, writes on everything, I just love it. And I like to add a little black. Sometimes I just like to go along and do a border. Now sometimes I make it fancy, sometimes it's just this simple. No fancy, just a random line. This is just a uniball pen. That's all it is. And so then I add maybe a flower. Now, I did use my Stabila All Pencil. This is water soluble. 
And the other thing I have here is a Caran d'Ache water soluble crayon. You can also use that. I absolutely love to outline the, run a line around it. And I'm going to put some strings through this and then I'll show you the final project. 